Yeah, it, you definitely need to get like some trimming going on up there. I don't, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Travis, what time is it? It's happy hour hey, and the door and dings. the door just ding. That's been happening a lot today. Let me grab this. And I don't want to keep that down for too long. Yeah, so Travis just had to run out. That uh, door's been dinging off the hook all day today. Do you know why? Tomorrow starts hunting season for archery. Deer, elk, antelope, anything you want to get archery, if you have your archery tag, you can do it tomorrow, bright and early. And if you don't have your tags yet, come in tonight. Come in tomorrow morning. We can get them for you. Uh, whatever you need. Conservation stamp, archery stamp, if you need your general deer, elk, if you're out of state, uh, I'd hope you have your licenses already. We can get you a conservation stamp, but there's not a heck of a lot left over. But no, if you're a resident, come in. We can get you taken care of because tomorrow starts everything. And we prepared this week for you guys because uh, when you go out, you're going to want your calls, your scents, uh, anything like that. If we go along this wall here, here, let me flip around. Sorry, I don't like putting my beard down. <laughs> flip around here, you can see... We got this whole wall filled up for you guys. Yeah, we got our vests here. We got some scent killing stuff. Lots more scent killing stuff down here. Right over here, we got some gutting gloves and some dressing bags. Here's all of our calls. He, we got this all filled up here. We've been selling a bunch of these. These hoochie mamas are definitely uh, probably the most popular that we sell right there. Now we got a little bit of archery here, got some broadheads in, some releases, all these hangers right here if you need to help lift them up into the tree for you. Oh, hi mom. I, I gotta say hi to my mom or she gets mad at me. Okay, but speaking of hunting, we talked about this last week, a uh, little bit more on it. Uh, here in the next few weeks, uh, we're planning a squirrel hunt. <laughs> You heard that correctly, a squirrel hunt. I don't know a lot of the details. I know Reggie is still kind of getting that run through. He's been talking to Jamie, been talking to some other people about like what kind of rules we're going to have for that. Uh, I know there's probably going to be a limit, especially if you need a license for that. Um, I think teams of four, you're required to have two uh, under... Oh, hey, my cameraman is back. Thank you, Mr. Travis. This is my beer. Where's yours? Yours is over there. Would you like me to get your beer for you? Okay. <laughs> He's going to go get go get your beer first so you're not distracted. Okay. I haven't fired you yet, so you're still good to go. <laughs> your Beth is watching us and your mom. Yeah, I already said hi to mom. Oh, hi, Beth. I should probably say hi to Beth, too. But, uh, but uh, squirrel hunt. I know the little details that I know, There's you're supposed to have teams of four. Uh, two under the age of 17, I think one girl, and then, you know, and your girl can be, you know, one of your under 17s as well. So, I mean, he's working out the details, but if we want to come over here, what are we going to do with all those squirrels when we get them, Travis? Isn't he planning some kind of fry? Do you think we can fit some squirrels in here? Well, uh, considering how much meat there is on a squirrel, that's like 40 squirrel right well, there. 40 squirrels. <laughs> so, so. Oil for them and everything. So. so we need lots of people to sign up for this so we can actually have a good squirrel fry. <laughs> okay. So yeah, teams of four, get your teams ready. Uh, like I said, Reggie's working out the details. Hopefully he'll have a little bit more for you in the coming weeks. And speaking of the coming weeks, especially this next week, we have two things going on right now. We've been promoting this for well over a month now. Yeah, I'm talking about this last, buddy, because that's what I want to do. But uh, our Vegas giveaway. If you come into the store, uh, every $25 you spend, you get an entry and a trip to Las Vegas. We call it the Vegas giveaway, but there's other places you can go, like what? Reno, Lake Tahoe. Mesquite. Mes mesquite. That, that sounds delicious, if you ask me. But... Uh, <laughs> I just, I know, a lot of people have uh, said, well, I don't really want to go to Vegas. I'm like, well, I'll take your tickets, but no. <laughs> but uh, there's the several different places you can go. But come in, every $25 you spend, you get a little slip, we throw it in, and we're drawing next week on the Hardware Happy Hour. And there's the bell again. <laughs> next week's Hardware Happy Hour is when we have our drawing. And it is September 7th, the day before, when Travis is doing this, 
the beer festival. Yes. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> No, the Sundance, uh, fifth annual Sundance Beer Festival is next Saturday, not tomorrow, next Saturday, September 8th. Goes from, uh, tasting is between 4 and 9. The music doesn't stop until 10, though. And we got, I gotta come up here and we gotta show you the trophies here and our new way of voting. We have a brand new way of voting this year. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, oh, and as we're passing by, I don't know if I'm getting these quite right. Sorry about these guys. Well, we got t-shirts in. These are the brand new t-shirts. You can come in today to buy one to get prepared for next week. They're only $10. If you need to write a check, please write it to the Sundance Beer Festival. And we also accept cash. But let's go take a look at the trophies and our new way of voting over here. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited about next weekend. I'm always excited about this time of year. So here's the big one that everybody wants to try to win. Right there, this is for the best overall brewery. I believe Crow Peak won the first year. Sick and Twisted won, uh, won twice, and then last year Lost Cabin won. So this is the big one that everybody's going for. Of course, we got the Home Brewer Trophy right here. For the best home brewer. And a little neat right there. See? Best home brewer. And then, of course, all the individual trophies right here for all the different categories that we're voting on. And there's like amber, wheat, uh, IPA, porter, season, uh, not seasonal, I think we're calling it specialty this year instead of seasonal. But here is the cool part, our new way of voting. Remember the past few years we've had the tickets that you had to write your favorite beer on? Oh, let me get out of these guys' way here. I'm showing them the Try cool coins. <laughs> but yeah. Is Reggie finally trying to work? Oh, yes, Reggie, if you're watching, Travis is finally trying to work, okay? But we got these new wooden coins right here that are made by, oh, what's his name? Oh, wait, I, he's working, sorry. I'll, I'll get his name real quick. Uh, but local guy makes these, and instead of using the tickets to try to remember what your favorite beer is, we're going to have uh, the jars at the individual breweries, and then on the other side... If you like that brewery's pale ale the best, you throw that in there. If you like their wheat the best, you throw that in there. If you like them best overall, throw it in there. I think uh, we just wanted to try to make uh, voting a little bit easier for people because we know throughout the night, you know, you start having a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and the subtleties of the beer start to elude people. So if you remember your favorite beer from, uh, say, your favorite porter from whatever brewery, you just take that porter coin and toss it in the jar there. How'd you like that toss? That was awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, here. <laughs> I can't remember if that's mine or yours, so I'm not going to touch it till we're done. <laughs> but yeah, so it said... Uh, yours. That's mine? Okay, sweet. So just quick recap, all right? You need that to... says it only took Travis how long to start working? Uh, five years. Hi, <laughs> See, he even did that. Five. Five years. You know, that was... Uh, Subconscious, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, somebody, uh, Pam says we have great promos and a lot of fun. Yes, absolutely. No, it's a great time. And but we, just, oh, oh, no, go, 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 okay. go, 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 you're charged. Just a quick recap, okay? Tomorrow, hunting season starts. Antelope, elk, deer, if you have your archery stamp. If you don't, come in, we'll get you set up so you can get some food on the table for you. Squirrel hunt. Uh, it's, I don't know the exact day. I think he said the 22nd or 29th, 28th, something like that. It's going to be in a few weeks. He's getting the details worked out on that. We'll bring you more information later. And, of course, Beer Festival, September 8th, next Saturday. Be here or just be here. Okay, you don't want to be anywhere else that day. It's going to be awesome. So, no, uh, thanks for coming to Hardware Happy Hour. Oh. Share this video so everybody knows what's going on, whether it's hunting or the beer festival. We want you to click that like button too, all right? We like to see those thumbs up. And comment. Let's do some more comments this year. Uh, not this year, but this week. We had you try to do squirrels last week. Let's continue with those squirrels. I want to see hunting memes. I want to see hunting gifts. Uh, let's do, like, beer memes and gifts as well. I want to see that from you guys in that comment section right there. That uh, would be great. It was great cheers fun last week. Oh, cheers, Mommy.
But uh, it was great fun last week. Let's just keep that rolling. Like, share, and comment with memes or gifts on hunting, squirrels, or beer. We appreciate you. Uh, tune in next week. Uh, hopefully one of you guys will win this Vegas trip. All right? Cheers. I lost my beer. <laughs>